Have you done your studying for the day? Yeah, I did a little bit. Just trying to get all night, and I was like, oh, this is going to be tactical. Can you have a tactical thing today? Oh, yeah, I can. I'm not going to stand here for half an hour and film all this. Don Katie! Don Justine! Don Katie! Ninety. Ninety one. That's a six minute mark, eh? Yeah. yeah. So it's the four, thirty six minutes. The city of Sheffield to Becky Rigby leading them through. This is, this is big oh, yeah, five laps coming up. Yeah, not going for it, are Who's that? Mm. All right. So the second uh, kilometre split, three minutes and 44 oh. seconds. Must have picked up, it's two off the so back now. <laughs> I think it has, look, I think they, they're just chugging along at the front a bit quicker. Okay, description. Yeah, clear. Um, it's uh, 10 laps to go, so that's 4,000 metres gone. The last half of six, three minutes and 41 seconds for that fourth kilometre. We've just got one for that. No change. So fourteen gone. Huh? 
much and you're walking. You concentrate on your walking. Four kilometres to go. 22.09. Six kilometres, is that this? So it's a 3.36 kilometre split, so uh, the last 12 kilometres, 3.41, 3.41, 3.36 Gradually winding it up, bit by bit. Something. Someone's got to do something at some point. One of the favourites, Becky Rigby's been on the shoulder of the leader for almost the first lap. Look out for always the world best Mary's athlete. So uh, Emily Pascal Cornell. and we're seeing a little bit of a gap. A couple of them dropping off, down to five perhaps. So coming down and eight to go. That means two miles of running, so just starting to uh, split her. It's leading through the pace as increased. Five now starting to move away. And it's dropping off the group. Louise Whittingham. Wearing number three, it's uh, Justine Anthony. So just some gaps up to appear. So it looks as if five athletes. Come on, Katie. Two of those 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 two of Oh, yeah. It's not her like. though. Yeah. The reason probably for that is that was the quickest split of the race. Three minutes and 33 seconds. So gone through seven kilometers in 25.42. So three minutes and 33 for that uh, last kilometer split. So the pace is increasing at the front. Six and a half to go. Six and a half to go. It's be six coming up on it. One more dropping off. We'll be down to four. Becky Rigby, 
decide to go to the front seat. Six laps to go. Oh, it's stretched out now. But it's only the, uh, the very athlete, the Oscar Thornhill, able to respond to that real change in pace. 28 minutes on the clock. And the long-time leader, who uh, the front for so many of the uh, opening laps, is the uh, athlete from uh, the University of Birmingham, Emily Hatcher. She's still in third place, with Bonnie Brown just behind her. Chilly, but oh, it was awful coming driving so up here. Three, <laughs> two, three, two, I stopped for a couple of about three hours or so. It wasn't too bad. But driving rain at one point, that was awful. I think, oh my god, this is worse than any time in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, it's not too windy. No. So there's a really good Just got to warm up. Oh, I don't know, it's got a reputation being windy up here. Gap back in a bit to Sarah Potter, teammate of Rigby, who's at the front. College University, What's Molly the Brown, the front of her. Uh, I'm not sure. I think the uh, University of students, no, Emma Hatchell, who led the right. solo He's pacing, he's really. still holding that bronze medal position. Uh, I don't know if he's pacing. But I tell you what, this is a, uh, or is it home 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 a training run. Home straight. Go on, Katie. They will see four laps to run. It'll be one mile of this track. There is nothing to choose between our two leaders here. So we're in the black, that's Sarah, sorry, that's uh, Becky, Rigby, 33, 36, personal best. Oh, this is great, They're moving along quite quick now, these two, aren't they? They look like it. Go, Violet, go! You can do it, Violet, let's go! Come on, Justine! 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 He's running well as well. I came up here all the way watching. Hey, Might get back here in time. So it's going to come down to three laps to go between our leaders, Becky Rigby. Go on, Katie! Go on, Katie! Go on, Katie! Winning that Bloody Doors. Show good speed in February up in Sheffield. Sheffield athlete here. Two of them are shoulder to shoulder as they come down with three to go in this Dutch Championship 10,000 meters. So if you are anywhere on the track side, they give these ladies loads of encouragement. <coughs> and at the moment, it is uh, Oscar Thornhill. Just started to get a couple of meters. Honoring me. Back for the others. This is 2K. This is a K road. 32 24. 32 24 through 9 kilometers. So again, an increase in pace. That's a 317 kilometer. So the last 3 kilometers, 325. 3.17, so getting quicker and quicker. But there is a gap back now to Rigby. So fantastic running. Good. 
So do make some noise here, guys. They've got two laps to run. Fluid running up from Jeff Fluid Owen Two laps to run. Just ahead of 